Hey friends, and today I'm welcoming you on another tutorial of Scandi PWA, this time covering the override mechanism. The first thing we would like to do is to pay our attention to the documentation and the broader documentation for override mechanism internals is located at docs.createscandipwaapp.com. So let's visit that site. It explains what's behind the create scan the pwa app tool chain so this is based on create react app and one of the features we added on top is the theming mechanism so what are themes in our understanding the themes in our understanding is the collection of components which implements a presentation layer of your application and that's specifically unique to your application theme should not contain business logic in ideal circumstances it means you're adopting the extension functionality to your design the theme has a unique syntax declaration in the package json so let's head straight into our newly created project and validate if it has a correct declaration in its package JSON. So we open up the VS Code, go ahead to our package JSON, the scan the PWA section. Here it is. And indeed, this section contains a type theme declaration, which uh, means that currently we are building a theme. And we see an interesting field here, a parent theme, which we have. Let's understand what a parent theme is. Let's head back into our documentation and take a look. Uh, there is a child theme, which we currently created, and a parent theme. Parent theme defines the base styles, which the child can inherit. And there could be unlimited stack of the themes, one on top of each other. Other. So an example, we are currently building on top of Scandi PWA theme, original one, but we can always create our own uh, implementation and then build on top of it. And as we can see, to define a parent theme, we need to define a field called parent theme in our package JSON. Themes has a specific alias, so the parent theme Scandi PWA has a specific alias source which allows us to reference it easily let's head back to our vs code in our vs code we currently can see that again our folder of src is empty and that's uh, defined here it's empty but if we try to run our project if i do yarn start so let's take a second uh, till it's built and we can head straight to chrome to validate if it looks all right and indeed the application looks correct while we have zero files in our VS Code. How is that possible? Well, that's because we have inherited all the files from the parent theme. So now let's try to modify it by overriding. How can we do it? Let's again, uh, Let's again head to Chrome and go back to our documentation where we'll find the file overrides tutorial where we'll define the overrides. And an override of a file is a uh, file which is created to be used instead of some other file. So we are replacing the original file with our newly created file. And we do it in a theme so we can override a parent theme. And you can see here that it notes that we can override files of any extension or parent theme. That means that we can override files of uh, an extension. So if I have the payment provider, I can override its styles. Or if I have a parent theme, which already implements some styles, I can override that as well. So let's take a look on the basic step-by-step -step definition of how to override a file of a parent theme. The only thing you need to do is first determine the parent theme location. And in our case, we already know it. We saw our parent theme and we know that it's the Scandi PWA, Scandi PWA. We need to locate the file which we intend to override. So let's inspect our page and see what would we like to change. In my case, I would like to change the appearance of telephone and mail, inspect it, and I can see that it highlighted me the header contacts and the contacts wrapper element which uh, leads me to believe the appearance of elements I'm trying to change is located in the header component. So our task today will be finding the header component location
navigation and overriding this file. And the thing we will do is a little trick. We will add this uh, Scandi PWA source code to our workspace. In order to do it, we will add a new workspace to our folder. In order to do it, we need to go into file. We need to click add workspace, add folder to workspace and we need to select a folder which is located in the node modules scandi pwa scandi pwa and we can see now we have our theme and scandi pwa and here inside the source folder is not empty at all so now we can try uh, looking up for a header so in order to do it easily we can toggle the search by file name and I can see already it's found quite a lot of them in the Scandi PWA folder. I assume we're interested in header component.js. Let's take a look on it. And uh, as far as I remember, we were looking for the contacts uh, definition. Let's take a look at contacts. Here we have the render contacts. And as we can see, the implementation already assumes you might override it with the CMS block while we don't want to do it. So let's try to override it by replacing the render contacts function instead. I would like this code to be changed. How can I do it? Well, the easiest way to do it is to create a new file in our theme, which has the name same as the original file and is located in the same folder relative to the SRC as the original file. Let's take uh, a look. Where is the header component located? Let's copy the relative path. That's our Scandi PWA folder. That's our SRC. Create a new file here and let's type in the relative path. Let's just exclude the SRC from it. Voila, it's created. We now see SRC component header which is currently empty. In our documentation, we can see that uh, we've pretty much done all the steps. We have overridden the file that worked. And uh, if we take a look at our Scandi PWA site, if we reload it, it should throw us some warnings because we haven't yet implemented header component. Indeed, we can see the error in our browser console. Uh, it states that uh, something went wrong in a header container, which actually tries to import the header component and fails. Well, why is it so we already know? Well, that's because our header component is empty. The instruction from the tool chain doesn't give us a clue how to correctly override a file. It can be found in our documentation, the docs.scandipwa.com. You can see it's different from create Scandi PWA app. And we are looking for overriding a JavaScript file today. And uh, as we can see here, what it says us is to import the original component. In our case, it's a header then it uh, asks us to define a class and export it back. So let's try doing that in our VS Code. Now we need to do is go ahead into a header component and uh, import the original header. Here is our header. Let's import it. So we will write an import of uh, header as source header. I will do it from the source component header header component. And now what we will do is define our own class header and extend the source header. And now what we need to do is to export default the header. And what we expect now is for our compilation to complete and the error to be gone feels just fine. So now let's override our telephone mail thing here. So in order to do it, we need to head back to VS Code. And now we need to redefine the method which supplied us with the contact information. The method which did this for us is render contacts. Copy this render contacts here and uh, replace its implementation with, in example, return hello. And uh, in a matter of seconds, the application got reloaded and we can see that hello is now appearing instead of our previous information. Great. So now uh, what should we do with our styles? So let's close all the other components for now and head straight back to our documentation to understand how can we override styles. 
and here we can see that style of writing is um, a little bit more complex because now we have multiple places for it to go and the first one is the base styles located in styles abstract variables dot stss or in other words in the style folder to understand how and another is uh, styles located in the component styles so that styles bound to a component in our case we'll take a look on replacing a component styles first and then move on on to overriding the base styles so the first thing we need to do here is to once again as defined in the file override mechanism locate the file where our changes needs to be applied in our case we were working with our header component and in our vs code we will be searching for header style so let's head back to vs code and here we will be searching for header style the header style most certainly is located in the same folder so let's open up this folder and indeed we can find the header style here let's copy the relative path and in our source folder let's paste it back in and remove the src from the path we can go back to browser and see if it affected something going back to the chrome we can see that the header styles are gone now well that's <laughs> not so great because we would like them to stay so how can we make sure that the header styles are still there well in order to do it we can head back to our uh, style definition in our VS Code, copy the original styles, and that wouldn't be smart because if the header would change in the future, we wouldn't inherit those changes. So what we can do here is instead of uh, naming this file exactly the same as the original one, we can rename it to header extension style JS. And now what we can do is head straight to our header component and after the import of source header import additional file our newly created file and save it and now here we can provide styles for our hello and here we can say that the color would be blue let's take a look how it looks on the page yeah it looks nice it's blue and the header still has all the necessary icons we did extend these styles instead of overriding them so this is how you work with uh, the styles components of your application components uh, but now what about the base styles well base styles are a little bit more complex we can see that base styles are located in the styles main css quite a big chunk of variables we can see that variables are defined in abstract variables.scss let's copy this file over going back to our vs code let's copy the variables file copy full content of it what we can try doing now is try changing those colors so let's go for some greenish yellow designs this might look all right let's take a look and let's see what will happen so we can see nothing has been changed why so well documentation states that in order to change the styles we also need to override the abstract styles which uh, imports our variables.scss and find where the abstract is located it's here so we now can copy this and we should as well copy the main css as defined in the documentation so let's copy this file and uh, paste it into our styles and reload the scan dpw page and indeed the application has changed its styles we now can see everything is greenish and that's kind of awesome why did we had to change both files abstract and main css that's because application is built using the css custom variables which are generated in the main css under the base root here and the abstract.scss is needed here because each component like extension style or any other automatically imports this file and in case instead of custom variables it's using css variable it also will inherit this change because it will see that the theme has uh, has redefined the abstract.scss 
Finally, we need to talk about overriding our HTML files because the public folder is empty. No HTML is visible. How can we override the HTML? This can be done pretty easily. All we need to do is copy the public index HTML from our parent theme into our theme, and that would make a trick. Let's head to our parent theme and locate the public index HTML. Let's copy it back here and let's add uh, a different warning in case the JavaScript is turned off. So let's write here, hello, please enable JavaScript. And this might be the only case where you really need to reload your application manually because you have changed the application entry point. We will need to cancel our compilation and start it again. And let's inspect it. Press command shift P and type in disable JavaScript. And if we reload the page, we can see that it has says hello, please enable JavaScript. And that's what we have defined in our HTML template. With that said, that's pretty much everything you need to know to start building your own themes. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys the next one.